wait to worshipers. I know you've heard me talk about how I got into podcasting and how I use Anchor. But if you haven't heard it, I just can't stop bragging. So let me explain for you a little bit about the easiest way to make a podcast. If you have not heard, it's through Anchor. Anchor, man, it's free. Did y'all hear that? It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone. Um, Sometimes I use my computer, but for the most part, I do it right from my phone. Also, uh, sometimes we're in the studio, so you never know. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, many, many more. So um, it's a great gig. Also, you can get paid from your podcast with no minimum listenership it's everything you need to make a podcast in one place so listen just so you can uh be a part of what's going on in the podcast industry now download the free anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started and you can also check out wait to worship right there as well we look forward to hearing you Good morning, wait to worshipers. I don't, I'm excited because today is kind of the first day we've had like a holiday. Um, a Valentine's Day today. Um, it's also Ash Wednesday, which is very important. But Today, being that it is Wake to Worship the Prelude, Prelude, and today is Valentine's Day, the theme is true love. Mm, true love. I know some of y'all sitting up there right now trying to figure out if y'all gonna get anything for Valentine's Day or if somebody's gonna show you that they love you or Um, Who you going to show you love them. But you also got to remember to love your God. With all your heart. All your soul and all your mind. And don't forget about him. Show him some love this week. Today. Show him some love. The scripture is Luke 10. We are reading from 23 to 28. Then he turned to his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see what you see and have not seen it and to hear what you hear and have not heard it. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, saying, Teacher, What shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered rightly. Do this and you will live. Do you want to live? I want to live. I love and love and love and give of myself. And for some reason, it just seems like you don't get the same love in return. But God's love is agape. There is no limit. To how your God will love you. So as you listen to the station today, I pray that you understand to love your God first. If you truly want to live and he will send those to love you. Amen. He will send those to love you. 
So wait the worshipers. I'm not going to talk long on this topic. I, I'm still waiting on a valentine. So, but you know, God is good. God is good. I pray you enjoy your day. I pray that as plenty public displays of affection go forth that you also feel the love of God inside of your soul I'm dancing right now I'm dancing right now I'm dancing in the spirit the love that I feel the love that I have felt all year Cause can't nobody love you like God Can't nobody do you like God That other love is fleshly love It passes, it passes I'm talking about that love when you lay down And put your, your head on the pillow at night And you just want to cry But you just feel a peace Of comforting that falls on you And ain't nobody in sight Amen. I'm talking about that love just when you are struck with fear and you know things ain't going to go right. But then all of a sudden you get this peace, this love surrounding you, telling you it's going to be all right. I already got it. That kind of love that man can't give you. I mean it when I say the kind of love that man can't give you. But only God can. I wish I could get a show of hands of how many have ever felt God's true agape love. That love that you don't deserve. That love that when you are at your worst, God still sees the best in you. I had this conversation last night with a dear brother of mine and the question was to the fact of somebody that can love you and see God's gifts in you. And it's funny because when we're in these relationships, it's so easy to see the negative or look for the negative in a person. Oh, you cheating. Oh, you lying. Oh, you doing this. What else you doing? Let me see your phone. Who you talking to on Messenger? You know, who is that just text you? But when do we look at that other person and say, I can see God in you. I can see everything that God has for you. You are powerful. You are mighty in the Lord. You were created to take dominion. Do you see the best in people? That's true love. Love is able to overlook the wrongs and overlook all the faults and that's what God does for us every day he looks beyond our faults he sees our needs but most importantly he loves us in spite of us so remember God today y'all remember God today remember how he loves you Remember how he's brought you through. Remember how he has made way after way, time after time. And show God some love today through your worship, through your praise, through your adoration. Show God some love today, true love. Wake to worship the prelude, Valentine's Day edition. I'm your host, Danette Wallace, and I will see you on the other side. Mm -mm -mm. Lord, I love you more than anything. God. 
Good morning, wake the worshipers. Yep, today is the day. You have reached wake the worship. Valentine's Day edition. The theme today is true love, that agape love. I'm your host, Danette Wallace. I just want to thank you for tuning in today as we show God how much we love him for loving us. Amen. The scripture today is Luke 10, 24 through 28. I'm sorry, 23 through 28. Then he turned to his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see what you see and have not seen it, and to hear what you hear and have not heard it. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered rightly. Do this and you will live. I've spent days wake the worshipers not living because I felt like no one was loving me. But when you trade in that desire, that need to have that fleshly love, because it passes, it goes away, it flees. And you can trade it in for the love of God. And that's to truly live and to love your neighbor earnestly. Stop looking for faults. Stop looking for wrongdoing. Stop looking for ways to tear down. But look for ways to build up. The ways to love people into their dominion, into their destiny. Love people just because of who they are and who they believe in. Amen. That love. Mm, Let's pray. Thank you for your love today. Thank you for your sacrifice of love today. Thank you for your son who you sacrificed on the cross to shed his blood. What an example, God, of love. For you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten son. That is a true agape love. And we thank you today. We just lift our voices to say we love you forever. We love you forever. There is nothing that can separate us from your love, God. As we worship you just to show you our gratitude and how much we love you this day, God. How we couldn't have made it without your love and your grace and your mercy. But we are giving back some of that love that you've shown us. We're doing it through our worship today. We're doing it through our praise today. We're doing it through our words today. We're doing it through our deeds today. That we might show someone else along the way the love of God. Thank you for no boundaries. Thank you for always loving us in spite of ourselves. Thank you for always overlooking the wrongdoings and loving us through. Yay, God, loving us through it all. Amen. We pray that as we begin to position our hearts for true worship, that you feel the love today, God. You fill our hearts and our souls and our minds are truly in love with you. Take your rightful place on the throne that we might worship you together in unity, in spirit and in truth. We pray, amen. Wake the worshipers. Let's worship. 
GV Hot 97 True Love Valentine's Day Edition. 